Well, good evening, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to this week's edition of Worship and Wine on Wednesday. I'm so glad that you can join me and seen a couple of comments already. Adrian, welcome to you. Good to have you on board. And Helen, uh, calling from uh, the north of England. Uh, good to have you on board. So do feel free to leave your comments. Let me know that you're here. Hi, Chris. Good evening to you. And you're drinking Mountain Dew tonight. Okay, Mountain Dew. Right. Have we got any advance on Mountain Dew? Phil Brown, hi. Welcome to you from Western Supermare. And Arne from Denmark. Noel Donaldson, my namesake from the north of England, which do concerts for Noel. Hi, Ruth from St. Helens. Uh, good to have you on board. Okay, uh, let's hide Chris's comments now. Uh, you've seen what Chris is drinking. What am I drinking this evening? Well, uh, I've already poured myself. Hi, April. Good evening to you. I have poured myself a glass of red wine already. Uh, Doug Titus, good evening to you from the USA. And Helen Vandenborn is drinking... Okay, and uh, there we go. And Adrian's drinking Advoca. What is Advoca, and why would you drink it? It's uh, is it good? Okay, greetings, uh, Arnold and Pamela. Glad you could join. Uh, so I've poured myself a glass of wine because this is worship and wine on Wednesday. So let me just put that to one side. I hope you've been having uh, a good week. Uh, greetings to all of you that are joining. Oh, I've got to put that on. Somebody's drinking Tetley's tea. <laughs> so we've got we've got tea, we've got Advoca, we've got red wine, uh, we've got uh, soft drinks, and oh, somebody called oh Simon Akerst is going to open a Merlot this evening. Yes, very nice, a good choice. And I'll be telling you what is in my glass in just a little while. So please feel free to uh, leave your comments. I won't be able to respond to all of them. I will kind of click a like after this broadcast is over. But I do appreciate you all joining me. And please uh, let us know what is in your glass. Uh, that will be great uh, to see what is in your glass. Uh, just to say greetings to Stephen from Glasgow. Stephen, just to let you know, I received your book on worship. So thank you very much for sending me the book. little book plug here this is called why we worship by Stephen Barr so uh, this is a book I've yet to read it just arrived in the post this morning Stephen from Glasgow thank you very much for sending that to me I'm looking forward to reading that and Stephen Barr is drinking tips tea Val Pearson is drinking ginger beer what a wide variety but it's wonderful just I hope you're sitting down chilled relaxed and with your tea, coffee, soft drink, Advoca, wine, whatever you have. And I'm going to share a couple of songs. Uh, the first song this evening is a song I picked up on this week. It's my song of the week, which is playing on noelrichards.com. And Trish and I were listening to it at the start of this week and thought, well, we're just bombarded with words right now. And we don't know what is true, what is false, uh, what is fake news, what is real news. Uh, it's quite amazing what people can do with uh, the Internet these days and the messages they can put out. But we are surrounded with uh, information. Uh, the news channels have lots of bad news. I've, I've kind of stopped watching the news because it was just getting very depressing and uh, seeing uh, just the total... Uh, criticism of people who are trying to do things right for our various nations. Uh, I'm just reading a little comment here from April. Tetley tea is great. No plastic in their tea bags. Oh, that's uh, useful information. I'll just put that up on the screen. That should come up in just a few more. Anyway. Uh, we'll forget about that for now uh, and get on with the song. I've got my guitar. So this song is one that I wrote with a guy mm. 
and we wrote some songs together in 2007 and I think this one was and I do apologize that uh, for some reason we are having some problems with the video tonight I'm not sure why that is uh, but there you go uh, it's and they're not hiding so I'll just get on with playing a song and uh, hope that I don't just ah, the comments disappeared now that's the thing with a live event uh, anything can happen last week we had a power cut anyway back to this song it's called your words a life and really we need to live by God's words I've got a couple of scriptures for you uh, Psalm 119 verse 105 your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path Matthew 4 verse 4 when Jesus answered it is written man shall not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God and John 6 68 when Simon Peter talks to the Lord and he says Lord to whom shall we go you have the words of eternal life and we need to make sure that we are listening to the real words that we're living under God's assessment of our current situation. So this is a song that reminds me that I need to listen to what God is saying because uh, his words are life. That's our life source. Your words are life. Your words are life, feeding my soul, worth more to me than silver or gold, guarding me from going astray, guiding me, lighting my way. Lead me on in the path that's everlasting. Lead me on, I will do what you are asking. Lead me on through the joys and through the sorrows. Lead me on, in your footsteps I will follow. Your words are life, feeding my soul, worth more to me than silver or gold, guarding me from going astray, guiding me, lighting my way. Lead me on in the path that's everlasting. Lead me on, I will do what you are asking. Lead me on through the joys and through the sorrows. Lead me on in your footsteps, I will follow. Help me hear the words that you speak. Feed to me the wisdom I seek. Help me hear the words that you speak. Feed to me the wisdom. In the path that's everlasting Lead me on I will do what you are asking Lead me on Through the joys and through the sorrows 
lead me on in your footsteps I will follow lead me on in the path that's everlasting lead me on I will do what you were asking lead me on through the joys and through the sorrows lead me on in your footsteps I will follow Yes, we're living by the words that God is speaking into our lives and into our situation at this point in time. We're living by faith. That's what we're called to do is to live and walk by faith. And just adjusting the capo and putting another capo on. I've got two capos here on my guitar tonight. So this one is a shortcut capo, which just covers three strings and gives me a little... A little open tuning sound. I'm just looking at the messages we've got here. A couple, uh, Dave and Diane Devine in Norfolk, England. So glad that you could join us. Uh, Andrew Duff, greetings from Anik, and greetings to you from here in Mallorca. I'll just check my tuning. sounds good to me. I hope it sounds good to Tricia, who's listening in the other room. I'm just going to reach for a little sip of wine. And for those of you who are just joining us, uh, welcome to Worship and Wine on Wednesday. And uh, hi to you, John Bay. Uh, did a and last great night in a pub little village a wonderful evening so and uh, yes to martina as well your wife this song is called i will seek your face i was leading worship at uh, our church in the uk many many years ago and somebody uh, read uh, a psalm and i just uh, i've just printed this psalm out so i could read it it's psalm 27 One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. I'm back again. Something happened there. The internet is really playing up tonight. I'm not sure what that is. I do apologize for that. Uh, so I was reading uh, this psalm. Um, I'll start again. Uh, one thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me. And answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will. That's from 27 verses 4 to 8. And when that psalm was read, I, I was leading the worship. And I thought, maybe there's a song in there somewhere. So I went back to the psalm. And uh, Trish and I wrote this song. I'd like to share it with you this evening. It's a very simple chorus. I will seek your face, O Lord. I will seek your face, O oh Lord. So um, please feel free, wherever you are tonight, to join in as I uh, sing this song to you and uh, this evening, as well as you, my friends, who are here. I will seek your face, O oh Lord. I will 
will seek your face so long I will seek your face so long I will seek your face so long I will seek your face so long Face so long, I will seek your face so long. I will seek your face so long. I will seek your face so Lord, how awesome is your presence Who can stand in your life Those who by your grace and mercy Are made holy in your sight Who I will seek your face so long 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 I will dwell in your presence I will dwell in your presence all the days of my life all the days of my life there to gaze upon your glory there to gaze upon your glory and to worship only you and to worship only you I will seek your face I will seek your face so long 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 I will seek your face I will seek Seek your face so long. I will seek your face so long. I will worship you. I will worship you. I will seek your face so long. I will worship you. I will worship you. I will seek your face. I will seek your face so long. Thank you for your very kind comments about the song. And thank you for staying tuned, even though the internet for some reason is playing up this evening. So in the middle of the song, the screen went blank and I uh, had to readjust it. So I do apologize for that. I had to get a cable to connect my MacBook to the modem. Uh, a few greetings. Um, Travis, uh, thank you. And uh, thank you for joining us from North Carolina. Really appreciate that. And uh, I saw some other folks that joined us, some friends, Ruth Verinda, glad you're on board, Kay Davis, and uh, uh, Ruth Verinda, Hazel Norbury. Uh, great to see you this evening. Thank you. Lundgaard Strong uh, from Texas, uh, Marion Sharp, yeah, great. Thank you so much for being here. It really is uh, wonderful uh, to have you along. And uh, I'm drinking uh, a glass of wine uh, this evening, which is a beautiful wine. 
And there's a story behind it. Yesterday I was working here and the phone went and uh, I had a call from uh, a local uh, wine merchant here on the island. And back in March when lockdown happened and we thought the supermarkets might have certain staples, we decided that we would uh, place an order with this company. They were offering a 25% discount. So I ordered uh, some wines and they were very nice. And then yesterday, this lady from the office called me and she said, Mr. Richards, would you be interested? And she said all this in Spanish. It's really quite difficult to do all this in Spanish. You think, I hope I'm ordering wine and not something else. And I said, have you got any offers? And she said, well, we'll, we'll do the 25% offer uh, if you buy a certain quantity of wine. So um, I looked at their website and I'll just put uh, on the screen uh, the banner here. That's uh, what I'm drinking tonight is Ibericus Monastrell. I, I ordered a variety of different wines from them, and they delivered them today, uh, really quick service. And I decided to open up this bottle, which is, I think it's from Catalonia. And uh, you can see the bottle there, Ibericus Monastrell. And uh, I've got some tasting notes uh, about this wine. I'm really enjoying sipping this this evening. But just to give you some facts, because it's always interesting to know what wines you're drinking. And actually, you can buy Monastrell in Waitrose. I was uh, looking to see where Monastrell is available. And it's, there are bottles in Waitrose, Morrison's, various supermarkets. And uh, it's worth a little browse on the supermarket shelves. And try this grape. It says, Monastrell is one of the oldest red varieties of the Iberian Peninsula. This native of the Mediterranean coast provides us with red wines with intense colour, pleasing aromas of black and red fruit and touches of spice. To meet characteristics which we want to per perpetuate across a, the Masset Ibericus collection. Uh, and the tasting notes, it's ruby coloured with violet reflections, aromas of ripe red fruit, plumery, over a light balsamic toasty background. Subtle recollections of soil, Mediterranean underbrush, and tobacco leaves. It is intense and fruity on the palate, pure tannins, and a long, persistent finish. It really is um, a lovely finish uh, on this wine this evening. So uh, that's what I'm drinking. You can visit their website, masset.com forward slash English and, uh, EN, and you can see some of the wines that they're offering there. And uh, uh, greetings to you, Phil Slay. Thank you, you've just joined. So cheers, everybody. Um, anybody else drinking a, a white wine or a red wine this evening? What, uh, what is in your glass or what is uh, in your cup? Do tell us, please. Mm. And I think uh, it'll be good to get my guitar and sing another song at this point in time. There's a story behind this song. Uh, oh, what's this? Tim Bliss. Uh, That looks very posh. Uh, Southern French, I believe. Pie de hoc. Is that how you say it? My French is not very good. And Doug Titus is drinking a 2017 Hummingbird. Blend of Chambassin and Merlot from Georgia, USA. There's some great wines in Texas as well. We've got some friends who lead a church in the Fort Worth. Well, Azel, just outside Fort Worth. And uh, they introduced us to Texas wines last year. They're absolutely wonderful. What's Liam Fox got? Liam Fox has got a cup of tea. Okay. Thank you, Liam. And Ruth Rinder is drinking cranberry and raspberry tea, which is lovely. Wonderful. Uh, Isla Negra, Cabernet Sauvignon. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yes. Good. Okay. Well, uh, when you write a song, you give it away and you never know uh, what is going to happen to that song. Uh, it takes on a life of its own. And this song that I'm going to share with you right now uh, is a song that really is our signature tune. Trisha and I wrote this many years ago. It's amazing how these uh, songs have traveled. And I'm just putting another capo on. This is my five string capo, which uh, covers the bottom five strings and leaves the top E open. <laughs> And I'm just looking at some comments here. And this is an Italian wine that Honey is uh, drinking tonight. Evita Primitivo Puglia, 2016. Okay, uh, on with the story. This song, when Trish and I wrote it, we didn't put a lady's part in, a little echo. 
because uh, that's not what we did. But uh, 10 years ago, I was doing a recording for BBC television Songs of Praise. And we had a couple of hundred people for a rehearsal before we did the live uh, Songs of Praise recording. And uh, this song was on the list. And when we took a break, this lady came up to me and the producer and she said, you're singing it wrong. And I said, what? She said, this song you're singing wrong. I said, why? She said, you're not putting the echo in the chorus. And I said, yeah, but uh, I didn't write it with an echo. We're singing it correctly. She said, I don't care if you are the writer of the song, you're still singing it wrong. So we had to pull everybody back and redo the rehearsal of the song. And uh, I'd like to share the song with you. Uh, it's a song you'll know, All Heaven Declares. And it really has become a, a song that is a signature tune for us. And uh, it feels to be such a privilege to have written songs that have uh, traveled in the way that this one has. So do join in, All Heaven Declares. Well, it's been uh, wonderful to spend this little time with you. I do apologize for the interruptions in the broadcast this evening. Uh, this happens at times, and uh, normally our internet is very reliable. We've got a very high-speed internet here, but uh, for some reason, it's playing up this evening. So thank you for sticking around and staying tuned, and uh, thank you for all your very lovely comments this evening. And uh, let me just have a look to see uh, if there's anybody I just want to say hi to. Well, hi to all of you, actually. Thank you for, for being here this evening. It's really good. Uh, so um, have a great week. Uh, have a, a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend. And uh, just to say, uh, put my banner up on the screen here. 
uh, that we have the uh, Facebook group for Worship and Wine on Wednesday. So if you want to join, please do that. And it'll be great to welcome you on board and keep you up to date with uh, what we're all doing. So thank you. Uh, it's been uh, wonderful to be with you. And please let me know if there's any songs that you'd like me to do this. Uh, I've got a little list that's uh, coming together of songs that people have requested. So I haven't forgotten. And I will weave those in as I can into the program. So please uh, do let me uh, know of any songs you'd like me to, to sing. And I'd be very happy to do that. And just to say also that... Uh, the song I started off with, Your Words of Life. It's the song of the week at noelwitches.com. So please do go and check that out. Uh, it's a great arrangement. It was recorded in Nashville. And uh, we went there and did the entire album in Nashville. Had some great musicians, uh, people who are kind of legendary in, 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 in their field, people like Phil Madeira and Derry Doherty. And uh, it was a wonderful time to be there. So uh, do check out the studio version of your words alive at noelwitches.com and i shall keep in touch with you in the over the coming week and uh oh somebody's requested we want to see jesus lifted high and uh <laughs> actually do you know what i think i think we'll go out uh with with the little chorus of that liam because that again it, there's an interesting story to that that people think it's a song that i wrote but it was actually written by dougie dug dug a uh, great children's worker <laughs> And uh, Dougie Doug, or Doug Hawley is his name, is brought the song to me. He was playing guitar in my band many years ago. And he said, no, this song really works. And I said, Doug, I don't think it will. And uh, eventually, because of our friendship, I decided to give it a go. That was in early 1993. And I've been singing it ever since. And when, uh, often when I travel, people say, no, we love your music. We love your songs. And I say, which one is your favorite? And they say, we want to see Jesus lifted high. And once there was a time when I got invited to a gospel music festival uh, in Barbados. And on the first night, they introduced me as, this is Noel Richards, the author of We Want to See Jesus Lifted High. Uh, my guitar player was with me and said, don't tell him. So uh, let's uh, have a little fun as we finish this evening. And uh, look forward to seeing you all next week. Stay safe, stay well, and uh, I'll sing this song for you. Uh, okay, and please let me have some requests, and I'll see what I can do. We want to see Jesus lifted high, a banner that flies across this land, that all men might see the truth and know He is the way to heaven. We want to see Jesus lifted high, a banner that flies across this land That all men might see the truth and know He is the way to heaven We want to see, we want to see We want to see Jesus lifted high We want to see, we want to see We want to see Jesus lifted high Step by step we're moving forward Little by little we're taking ground Every prayer a powerful weapon Strongholds come tumbling down and down and down and down We want to see Jesus lifted high A banner that flies across this land And all men might see the truth and know He is the way to heaven We want to see we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. Great. Well, thank you very much and uh, look forward to seeing you all next week. Stay safe, stay well. God be with you. And um, that's it. Okay. Blessings on you all.